Hello students. In this module, we will be learning about the Earth satellite, that is, the Moon. A celestial body revolving around a planet is called a satellite. Okay, so a satellite is any celestial body that revolves around a planet. The Moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. So, the moon is the only natural satellite of the earth. It revolves around the earth. It does not have any light of its own. So, if it does not have any light of its own, how do, how do we see the moon at night? This is because it reflects the light from the sun during the night. Okay. So, that is why we are able to see the moon. This is an image, a very clear close-up image of the satellite moon. You can see how there are dark places and how there are light parts on the moon. So, the dark spots as you can see here, they are all craters. Okay, so you can see one here also. They are craters in the sense the depth is lower than the other parts. That is why they appear darker. Okay, so this is the moon. Next, moment, no sorry, next, think, if you are living on the moon, will the earth appear as the moon to you? So, suppose you go to the moon and you take a look at the earth, what will we be able to see? So, I will show you a picture of that one. This is an image of the earth as taken from the moon. You can see the blueness of the oceans, the clouds, etc. This is the moon. So, this is how you will be able to see the earth from the moon. Movements of the moon. The moon has two movements. One is rotation on its axis. The other is revolution around the earth. So, similar to earth, how earth rotates around the sun, moon rotates around the earth. Okay. Know this. The moon's rotation takes 27.3 days and its revolution around the earth takes 29.5 days. So, every 27.3 days the moon rotates around its axis and its revolution around the earth takes 29.5 days. As the moon revolves around the earth, its position in relation to the sun changes from night to night. As a result of this, we see the phases of the moon. So, you might have observed every month, one day we will be able to see full moon and one day moon is not visible to us. So, some other days we will be able to see half of the moon, maybe one tiny line, crescent moon. These are called different phases of the moon. How come they change? This is because Every night, the position relation to the sun changes. This is why there are changes in the moon's visible phases that is known as phases of the moon. You will learn more about it in higher classes. So, when the moon is completely dark, we call it new moon. When we see its bright side totally, we call it as full moon. So, I will show you another image of this. So, you can see here that they are showing what people on this part of the earth see. Okay. From that part of the earth, if the moon is here, you will be able to see new moon. Then if some part is illuminated, you will be able to see half moon. Like that it becomes bigger and then you will be able to see full moon. Okay. This is why we will be able to see different phases of the moon. You will learn more in detail in your future classes. Next, let us understand the meaning of these. One day, the duration taken by the earth to complete one rotation on its axis is called a day. So, this is the formal definition of one day. How long is one day? It's however long the planet earth takes to complete one revolution, sorry, complete one rotation on its axis. One year. As the earth 
rotates on its axis, the duration taken by it to complete one revolution around the sun is called a year. So, simultaneously as it is rotating, it will also revolve around the sun. This duration to complete one complete revolution around the sun is called one year. And one month. One month is the duration taken by the moon to complete one revolution around the earth. So observe this is with respect to the moon. So one month is the duration taken by the moon to complete one revolution around the earth. Okay. Let us complete this activity. Look at the sky every day at night. Observe the shape and direction of the visible part of the moon. Notice the glittering stars. Keenly watch one particular galaxy and its movements. So what you need to do is at one time every night, you have to go out and look at the sky. And you'll be able to answer this after you have watched the sky like this for one month. Okay. The first question is, is the shape of the visible part of the moon always the same? So of the moon, including this one. So these are called as different phases of the moon. You will be able to see one of these each night. Okay. One night it might be full moon. One night it might be half moon. So the visible part of the moon has different shapes every night. The shape changes gradually from full moon to new moon and new moon back to full moon. Okay. So, is the shape of the visible part of the moon always the same? The answer to this question is no. The shape changes every night. Okay. Now, let us move on to the next question. On which day is the moon fully visible? What is that day known as? So, one day every month you will be able to see the full moon day. Okay? So, this is known as the full moon day. In India, we call it as the Purnima. Okay? So, I will write that also to make it easier for you to understand. Purnima or Purnami. Next, on which day is the moon not visible? What do we call this day? So, we call this as the new moon day. Moon is called as the new moon. In India, we call it the Amavasya. Okay? So, on Amavasya or on New Moon Day, we will not be able to see the moon in the sky. Next, is the moon visible daily at the same place at the same time? Because of the slight changes in the position of the moon with relative to both the earth and the sun, we will not be able to see the moon daily at the same place at the same time. So, if you go take a photo of the moon at the same place, time every night and you carry on this activity for one month and then if you look at all the images on top of each other you know what you will be able to see you will be able to see a formation like this one this is due to how the or orbit of the moon around the earth is so every night at the same time you won't be able to see the moon in the same position the position of the moon changes every night as well as the shape also changes every night. So, the answer to this question is no. Next, are the stars located in the same place or is their location also changing? So, actually the location of the stars is also changing throughout the year but these changes are very subtle to notice from day to day. However, their position can be noticed if you look at it throughout the year. So, 
So the next question is, can we get a particular shape by joining some stars? Draw a diagram of stars and display it in the classroom. So whenever we join some stars to get a particular shape, it is known as a constellation. This is not new. People have been doing it from a long time and there have been different constellations across different cultures. So, I will show you an image of one of the constellations. This is known as the Big Dipper. This is part of a bigger constellation called Arsa Major or the Great Bear. In India, we call this the Saptarishi Mandal. Okay, this is because there are seven stars here and thus it is known as Saptarishi Mandal. Next, we have this activity where think. When we watch a live broadcast of Olympics or other global level games, it was day in different countries of the world while it is night in our country. How is it possible? So you might have observed whenever you're watching cricket or any other sports, it might be day there while it is night here or it might be night there while it is day here. So how is that possible if we are watching it live? So we have learned that because the earth rotates on its axis, different parts of the earth are receiving different amounts of sunlight. The part of the earth that is facing towards the sun is day and the part that is facing away from the sun is night. So that is why at the same point in time, different points on earth have either day or night depending on how the earth is rotating. So that is why it might be night where the match is going on and it is day here or the reverse. Next, the activity is the name of the planet and duration of visibility are given below. Observe this along with your friends. So they have given us the planet names here and they have given in morning which months it is easier to see those planets in evening which months it is easier to see those planets so you can just take note of this next who belongs to which category right in the table so here you have the list of celestial bodies including sun moon mars etc you have to classify them into star planet or satellite so, I will leave this activity to you. The next question is, what is solar system? You can take some time to think. So, the solar system can be defined as the sun and the surrounding eight planets, including the asteroid belt and other celestial bodies are called the solar system. So, the definition of solar system is whatever orbits around the sun is actually a part of the solar system. Okay. So, this includes the sun, the surrounding eight planets, the asteroid belts and other celestial bodies. So the other celestial bodies may refer to the satellites, the dwarf planet Pluto or as we learned comets and asteroids. Next question is what is the natural satellite of the earth? So we all know the moon is the natural satellite of the earth. Next explain the characteristics of the following celestial bodies. So, they have given us different celestial bodies and we have to explain the important characteristics of each and every one of them. We should start with meteor, meteoroids. So, I have just added the important characteristics of all of these for you. Let us go through them one by one. For meteoroids, the characteristics are, so they are small fragments of rock and debris in space. And we have learned that when they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up. 
because they burn up they look like shooting stars so they are also called as shooting stars just recall why do they burn up they burn up because they interact with the atmospheric particles and due to the friction it causes the increase in temperature and hence they start burning up next let us talk about asteroids so asteroids are small rocky celestial bodies that are revolving around the sun and they are located between mars and jupiter so the asteroids are present in a belt between mars and jupiter this is known as the asteroid belt itself it is also part of our solar system okay now let us learn about comets so comets is an icy body that give out gas or dust they revolve around the sun and they can be seen in the night with long tails so we have learned that they are icy bodies they revolve around the sun and they can be seen in the night and we can see their long tails okay so these are the characteristics of these celestial bodies so you have given a lot of very interesting facts about the solar system here you can just go through them to learn more about the solar system this is the end of the lesson the sky